Now the first software that we're going to need throughout this course is the IBKR desktop application. You can download that by going to the link that I put in the text for this video, following that link, and it'll take you to a spot where you should have an option to download IBKR desktop, then you can select that, and then go to download latest. Now this window will pop up, and depending on your computer, it should automatically know what type of Windows or Mac you have. So I'm just gonna press this red button to download the version for my computer. And then once you see it download, it'll be in your downloads of whatever type of computer you have. We'll open up that file. Then we'll start to install using the wizard. One thing I wanna note is if you have a different system, it appears they provide an option to open up to download for other operating systems. So now we're at this point in the process. Let's follow these prompts, next, 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 and let it extract the files. And now finally, we can finish our setup and I'm going to have it run right now. And now you'll see this pop up right here. So we could do live trading, that would be trading with real money, or we could do paper trading with fake money. So we're going to want to do paper trading. Now we can see that we've selected paper trading. We need to log in, but how do we log in without an account? That's where we're gonna go back to this page that we were at where we downloaded it. And we need to go to open account and start an application. So in this step, you're actually going to be asked to fill out a username and password. So let's go ahead and fill out these prompts and then hit create account. Once you fill out all that information, you should see a page like this. It's going to ask you to confirm your email address. So make sure you go over there to whatever email you put in and confirm on that confirmation email. Then it's going to ask us to select an account type. For the purposes of this course, I'm assuming that you're just going to be an individual. And since you're starting off with a paper trading account, we can do individual. And then you're going to have to put in what state or country that you live in. And then you have your choose your service plan. So if you really were going to put a bunch of money in this, maybe you would want to get the pro version and start the application for that. Because if you have idle cash, you can get more interest. I'm gonna say for the purpose of paper trading, we can just take this light version. And and then you'll hit start application. Now the next step is you really just need to go through and fill out all of your information. It's like signing up for any type of brokerage account. So we have to get the brokerage account first and then after we've gotten the brokerage account, that's when we can enable paper trading within that account. So go ahead and fill out all this information and then hit continue. So I submitted my application and then in two business days, they approved of my application to open my account. Now, this is the first time I'm going to the dashboard after logging in with my approved account. Now I want to go and enable paper trading or just check to make sure that paper trading is already enabled. I've had various accounts with interactive brokers. One I had to enable paper trading, one I didn't need to. So I will go up here to where the guy is with the head and shoulders folders, click on that, and then I'll click settings. Now down in the account configuration setting, we're going to see paper trading. So I'll click on paper trading. Now we can see that I already have a paper trading account set up. I didn't do anything to enable it, it came this way. So maybe you'll have the same experience as me, or maybe you'll have to click something in here to enable it. Now, one thing you do wanna make sure is that you make sure to share real-time market data subscriptions with your paper trading account. This will make sure that you get the real-time data and not the delayed data. So make sure that that is a yes. So they give me this paper trading username that is different than what my original username had been. But if I go back to this IBKR desktop app and I want to sign in to this paper trading account, I can't use this one. So right, we can sign into live trading or paper trading. I'm gonna do paper trading. I have to use my original username that I signed up with the account for, not the one that they had given me here, and then put in my original password. Then I'll hit login. It may take a few seconds to log in, just depending on the speed and uh, power of your computer. So now we have the IBKR desktop app opened up and we're gonna have to hit that. We understand that this is not a real brokerage account, it is a paper trading account. We understand. And now we are logged in and we can see that we're starting off with 1 million of basically fake paper money that we can trade with. And you'll see I have actually 1 million and $105. That's because if it just sits in cash, it'll collect that money market rate of return. So now we are ready to start trading and seeing how we do without real money on the line. 
This video is a part of my course, Options Theory to Practice. I'll guide you step-by-step step through the fundamentals of options all within a safe and controlled paper trading environment where no real money is at risk. You can learn more via the link in the video description or pinned comment. 